I call the honourable member for Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I was delighted to join you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and my co-chair of the Parliamentary Friends of Papua New Guinea, the member for Corio, to welcome uh, to the House today our colleagues and friends from the Papua New Guinea Parliament who are with us in the chamber. And, uh, it highlights, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, the importance of our relationship with our nearest country. In fact, uh, as we discussed, I think perhaps that every member of parliament's first trip should be to Papua New Guinea before they go anywhere else. And of course, the gentlemen uh, and colleagues who are with us today represent uh, two of the most difficult seats in the Western Province. And of course, they face not only the tyranny of distance but the tyranny of topography as well. Very difficult challenges in health and in access. And uh, they're doing a remarkable job uh, in delivering services uh, to their members out in those difficult areas. And that's why I was delighted uh, to be invited about 10 days ago uh, to the opening of the new Pacific International Hospital in Port Moresby. This hospital is outstanding. In fact, I, I predict that people want to be medevaced out of Australia to this hospital. It, it boasts the best facilities that I have seen. Um, it has everything from x-rays and CAT scans and pathology labs, dialysis machines, four operating theatres, and is staffed by some of the best doctors and nurses around the world. Uh, and I congratulate Dr Amina and, Sultan, and Mohammed Sultan for their absolute determination to make this project a reality. Order, 